I'm Buster. I'm Jack, and welcome back to another video. Today we are getting custom fit mm. for brand spanking new clubs. We're gonna dial in our drivers, woods, show you around cool clubs, the cool technology that they have to dial on everybody, and they can dial on you as well. Stick around for a little discount code to get fit mm -hmm. at cool clubs. No bias, no brand. We're just gonna see what's best. Our man Jack's gonna get us dialed in. Let's roll. All right, well, welcome in. This is our Cool Clubs headquarters here in Scottsdale. We kind of use this for indoor fittings, but we do a lot of stuff at Greyhawk just down the road for mm -hmm. outdoors. This is our putting studio. It's sick. It's one track man. We've got putt view. We've got awesome. everything you can do on putting. Yeah. Some of the fittings going on indoors here. And then this is our wall of demos. So anything hey. you could ask for. <laughs> this right is here. nuts. The candy Look store of the golf, golf <laughs> yeah. world, right? In the sky. This is crazy. All the major brands and heads and shafts cupboard full of grips over here yeah. uh, it's it's really super brand agnostic yeah um, I'll take you out the back and just show you a little bit of the build yeah. stuff yeah let's do it so this is where we do vip builds um, okay. pga tour player builds lpga tour um, and all of our custom work um, in terms of stamping grinding all that kind of fun stuff and also on the far corner we build all our demos and you guys will get to understand what that means when yeah. you're testing all this stuff, yeah. but they've got to be really concise and built to a point. So this is kind of where some of the magic happens. Yeah. And if you really want to see the full build shop, we'll check that out. That's it. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. All right. The first big bit about Cool Clubs is our technology. You know, we're testing mm. R&D on the heads yeah. and the shafts, and that really helps us get very, very accurate specifications during the fitting. Mm -hmm. But the hard part is actually building those clubs to that specification. Okay. And this is the area where that happens. This is our full build shop. We pretty much build for every one of our locations in the world. It's wow. huge. We normally have yeah. six guys out here building the whole time, yeah. pulling clubs apart. Yeah. Um, a couple of guys dedicated to just taking your orders, making sure they make sure all the components are the right weight. Um, everything's gonna hit that dead on spec at the end of the day. Cool. And that's why you come to Cool Club. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got this thing like, anti-left, right? You know, yes. the weight in the toe, you got eight degrees, yeah. lower loft. Six. Playing six degrees. And the biggest group <laughs> on the planet. It goes left. It still goes left? Oh, I'm in to out like sometimes 14. Ooh. All right, well. I'm trying not to be. Got a challenge today then. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like, first things first, I've measured your product, so I know what you're playing. Like, like I know loft, I know face angle, I know you got the weight in the toe, flex of the golf shaft, swing weight. So then we see you hit it, figure out what it's doing. That's our baseline, right? It's like this is what we got to improve on. Yeah and then we can start testing product and see what okay. we get. Yeah. So let's just see what, what this thing does. This is exciting. We're hitting a stealth. We are hitting stealth. It's the first time we've said that. <laughs> That's way right. So what is the, the bigger miss is the quick left? Uh, yeah, typically. I have hit some high right ones like that that just yeah. don't come back. I found this driver harder to draw, I think. So you see your, your speed still building a little bit of bottom of your 110 and your 111 a bit. So let's yeah. just kind of see Probably, when that caps out. I would say typically I'm 14 to 16. Perfect. Let's get let's get you, get yeah. you there. There it is. That's the one? Yep. Low left. See how it doesn't left. hang in the air at all? When and you're it was off the middle. When you're hitting eight up, you just, you know. Yep, exactly. Top, top spin in it. This year of all years is the most stories I've heard from all the different brands. Everyone's got like low spin drivers and all the pros have been saying, we've been going to either like a slightly higher spin of the low version driver tool model or the mid version, because mm -hmm. they're all wanting to see a little more spin than optimal so they can get their start lines. The difference there is those guys can control spin. Right. So it's like playing a spinnier golf ball. If you can control spin, it doesn't matter. I'm not very good at controlling. I don't know. You well, know. This, this is the thing. We don't know that right now, right? We yeah. know that you said nose dives out of the sky. That one there doesn't spin. If we gave you a little more spin, maybe it's like, oh, now yeah. it stays in the air a bit. I make a decent pass at it. And yeah, true. Hit my shape. Right now, you're making my job easy. Look at this, <laughs> look at this dispersion. <laughs> <laughs> if I played four holes, that'd be about what it looks like. <laughs> All right. I mean, we don't want. I don't want to gas you out, but this is a good, good set of data. We've yeah. Got, we've got. We've seen both the shots. You know, those left ones are there, and the high right was in there, and we've got your good one on the map. Yeah. I like to look at both of these, right? Like this is a circle, and then this is a ball flight mm -hmm. chart, and you can see. I just want it tighter in in both directions, basically. Mm -hmm. 112 in, 164 out. So that's a good ratio of speed. Mm -hmm. If we can get your ball speed pretty close to 170, actually, if we find the right combo and get yeah. you hitting it more centered. Um, launch and spin right now, I actually don't care because it's more about getting it down start line yeah. more often. 
and once we get down to that point then i'll be like right now let's talk about mm -hmm. exactly what we just did where is the spin that gives you the most consistent golf shot mm -hmm. um so same kind of thing distance not really a problem for you let's just tighten this up so this is what we use this is our proprietary software right now this is just a map of your driver 45 and a quarter inches long if you're to go and buy that driver off the rack out of a big box store maybe 45 and a half, 45 yeah. and three quarters. So it was a little under. So this is our very first reference of flex. That's playing X plus uh -huh. and then swing weight D 7.5. <laughs> that's a that's an odd one. And what that is, is a low balance point golf shaft, but that's super light grip yeah. is really what's done it. Because yeah. it's, not, it's not long, there's no extra weight in the head, mm -mm. but that's a big thing that might be hurt in that path as well. Swinging a sledgehammer, you're like, oh, back here. And yeah. getting something a little lighter at least, you might be able to, Get it in front of your body. Yeah, get it more on plane. Mm -hmm. And this is the really cool stuff. So this is the, when we test all of the golf shafts, 15,000 shafts. Yeah. Put all of that data into here and we start condensing down what we want for you. We're going to put your speed in at 112 at the moment. That might change throughout the day. Tempo number is like how quickly you change direction. Transition, yeah. You're quite sharp, right? You give it a bit of a nudge. You know, I think Ernie Ells is like long and smooth. Right, so this is where these numbers <laughs> are going to be like different for you yeah. boys. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, you've got someone like Boo Weekly and just goes absolutely yeah. hammer time at it. So that's the kind of difference. And then how far the golf club goes back when you release it, yeah. it all takes into account. So make some recommendations and you see that your shaft isn't in this first list mm -hmm. of five. Doesn't mean to say it won't work for you, mm -hmm. it's not good. It's just under those parameters that we've set, it's not there. Mm -hmm. So it's looking at maybe a slightly lighter weight golf shaft, different brands of golf shaft. We've got Fuji in there, we've got Graphite Design, we've got Acura, there's a bunch of things that are gonna work. So. Mm -hmm. I'm going to build into the golf shaft the most right possible. So okay. this is going to sound weird, but higher torque. Most people associate low torque with right, but mm -hmm. higher torque actually helps. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and get something that spins a, a little more mm -hmm. in head and shaft. Mm -hmm. Go from there. I like it. This is such a cool software that, I mean, you just click a button and you're like, all right, let's try this one. Yeah. <laughs> this is yeah, 10, about 10 about years. About we have six balls out there and it recommends what I should play yeah and this is it six balls you know you go into any location for fitting and you've got like a wall full of options and we can stand there all day and bang mm -hmm. balls on you guys and you just be gassed there's mm -hmm. nothing left in the tank so this this software is like let's concisely get you to a really good product and make sure that you test it and you're fresh and the results that you see in the fitting are what you're going to take on the golf course mm -hmm. yeah and that's that's the goal let me uh, grab some products and yeah do it. this is it now yeah. we're getting <laughs> to the fun part baby all right i'm going to start with this yeah it's lighter weight it's higher launch and spin than what you've got. Cool. And then I'm going to take you to like a more extreme head as well in terms of like a little more loft, a little more spin, a little more okay. forgiveness. So okay. just push you one side of the, yeah. the, the road. Oh, ping guy. Ping guy. I hope so, dude. This is the first time we've gotten to choose what driver we want to play. Like, feels good. From any brand. Yep. So this is nice. Whoa. How does that look? Huge. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the 10K one, right? So, what is this? 480 cc's. This is legal limit as a legal limit gets. <laughs> All right. Any any feedback is good feedback. Doesn't okay. doesn't matter. Just tell me what you what you're feeling, what you're seeing. Oh, felt good. That's not bad. Right. First thing we saw was same club head speed, but we gained ball speed. You're up to 166. Yeah. So we know there was a better energy transfer there. Spin at 2200. Launch at 14. Happy days but still got that. I mean, we are going to see the ball move right to left, right? Yeah. That's like your thumbprint. Yeah. But we just want to make sure we don't see it go way left. Way left. Yeah. It is weird seeing more loft on here, but. Mm -hmm. And there's a bit more. This is eight degrees, seven and a half. Actually. That was hit pretty hard. So actually that's like another bit of evidence that I've got that we've made an immediate improvement. I've given you one and a half degrees more loft and we're seeing two miles now more ball speed. Yeah. So I've given you like effectively more friction on the face and it's yeah. still coming off quicker. So can you handle looking at the loft? Doesn't feel like it's going left. Shoot, if it looks like that, I don't care. Okay. It feels good too, the ping. I haven't had a ping since like my freshman year of high school. That's left. I say it started a little too square. That's the one. Club path eight degrees into out, face yeah. pretty square. Let me try and hit a cut. Nope, that's left. That's what we want you to feel when you think, oh, that's going left and it yeah. doesn't. All right, have a break there. That's, that's a good start. If we go show all, we've made some improvements, right? For sure. Yeah, it's tighter, it's a little longer on average, 314 versus 305 on average. Ball speed's up mile an hour, launch and spin are both up and it's straighter. Mm -hmm. So that was my like high spin combination and it's what I feel is a pretty good, pretty more consistent. The ball, I talked about the height of the ball there. Mm -hmm. It's a little more stable. So this is your vertical with your own. Mm -hmm. 
and that's the vertical with that. So I like that. Let's try something else. Stiff, soft. Um, I mean, it didn't feel soft. Okay. The head was bigger. Yeah. So weight, weight. Did you feel anything about weight? Lighter. Yeah. Yeah. Felt lighter. There or there or there. All over because I think the swing weight's better. Yes. So let's use that same shaft, and I think this has got a good shout for you. All right. So all I've changed is head. I will say this immediately looks better on the ground. Okay. Just the loft or the head shape? Head shape. It's like a traditional like pear shape almost. The bottom, 260 carry. We can handle that, miss. Yeah. I don't love the distance and the spin, those kind of things, but you're Straight on the golf miss. course. Yeah. No. That sucked. Yeah, well, you might not find that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's in somebody's pool. So immediately you felt like this wob like wobbled? What do you yeah, say? Yeah. It, yeah, it feels, uh, doesn't feel as stable as the pink. Okay, well let's ditch it. Because you, you said that and then you hit it all over the map. So that's yeah. a pretty good sign that we don't want it. And that's the key is to kind of wipe off the things pretty quick. If it doesn't feel right and doesn't give you good results out of the gate. This one is the other one I think you're gonna, you're gonna like the look of. What is this, the dark speed? Yeah, I'm gonna give it to you in the normal weight setting first, but it's kind of draw biased is not but okay i can make it more fade biased cobra dark speed uh what loft is this in that's nine crank all the way down seven five which when you crank it down flattens people, the little angle yeah and it opens the, opens the face which most people would be like that that would close it shut it down yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. when you de-loft a club in your hands you shut it right that's but, actually a really good yeah common misconception people yeah. think they're shutting the face when it's, oh, oh, I've, always it's bought, it. I've always bought a higher loft driver and turned it down just to keep the left out of it Oh yeah, well, that, that thing come out spicy, really right? Yeah. Whoa. There you go. Oh, Cobra. That's Holy. Long ball today right Obviously there. Obviously it's 1700 RPMs, but. Yeah, but we got a lot of room to work with this thing, right? Yeah. So this little way low loft. Cobra are but <laughs> under, underrated drivers. You know, you don't see a lot of it on toy. You yeah. know, Ricky, Woodland, Justin Sir. Yeah. So it's not all over the map, but they are doing a killer job. The reason why we added it to our matrix is because we robot tested it. And it was like one of the best. I'm like, oh, we better wow. put it on the shelf then. No, I mean, that felt wildly different than what I expected, and I like that. I like it going 336 down the middle. <laughs> Watch out, Tig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not very often do people, yeah. I mean, look at that. <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> yeah, we're done here. That's back to back over three bills, too. So you like the look, you like the feel. Don't get that wobble in your hands. Well, also like one thing I looked at, like right there, that's nine in out. Yeah. It's like kind of forgiving. Right. For okay. my, at least my shape. There's certain things today that we can't change. That's your thumbprint. And this is yeah. why you boys are probably gonna end up in different products, right? Yeah. You do different things. So we've just got to use that as our constraint and say, right, how do we get the best out of that and yeah. milk it? We might only need to see one more out of this bad boy. <laughs> A little toward the toe, but still pretty good. Holy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> He's taking the glove off. He's done. <laughs> That's <laughs> good. You want one more? Oh well, you know what God. I want to do with you? I want to give you at least another run in a different golf shaft. I mean, the yeah, software sure. helps us and it condenses things, but let's try just a couple. What are your thoughts on the spin rate? It's a little, it's a little you, low. Do you think that's a concern of the, the low spin or? So you've got to take it case by case, right? There is no um, 100, 13 miles an hour, we want 2300 or whatever. It's like, where did the guy strike it? What was his path? What was his angle of attack? That's our constraint. Mm -hmm. Way into out and way up, rips spin down. Mm -hmm. Like that just is what it is. And we had that conversation at the beginning. He doesn't like to see it spin, doesn't feel yeah. like it's under control. If we see it go down the middle at 1600, the gain of me getting him to, let's say 2000 or 2200, which might be considered more optimal, might not result in like two more yards yeah right or or the miss becomes bigger so it's, it's finding the balance of everything we've got room here right? see how these weights are set up three three and twelve yeah i can put the three up there and put the 12 back there it's going to make it more forgiving yeah, put CG back, add a little spin little spin yeah. we've got it in seven and a half degrees we can get it but like to eight degrees yeah that might give you a little more spin yeah. so like because well, a little more spin it would just hang in the air a little longer yeah well i can show you I mean, might not result in too much more distance but exactly right so this is your optimizer for that that last shot i like that like, what am i trying to trying to do here i'm yeah. trying to push you another three or four yards or one yard more total optimal is like 
start. Cobra. I mean, that was three in a row biggest balls yeah. of the day. Yeah, longest balls of the day and straight tightest, balls of the day. <laughs> tightest dispersion. We should hit the Callaway because we should hit it. Yeah. But it's hard to, to go past that thing. Is this heavier? Different balance point. No, 60 grams, same, same weight category as that last okay. one. Completely different manufacturer of golf shaft. Oh, it started good too. Yeah. No left. Path and face like almost matching up. That's just a pointed the gun and it went there. Technically a better swing, less into out. Yeah, less into out and face and path work together. You didn't get like a I didn't get across, yeah. It feels incredible. Oh. Was that low or was that good? That was hammered. <laughs> so now we've got evidence that like, I mean we know that all these golf shafts are good because the software does that for us, but the head yeah. is like it's mm. keeping you there. Do you think the head's helping dispersion? Y yes. Well, more than shaft or no? Shaft is like the timing mechanism, right? Mm -hmm. So the shaft allows that piece of material to get back in the same place over and over again. Mm -hmm. So the shaft has to be in a certain place for you to have consistency. But when you said, oh, no left, and oh, I hit that one in the toe, but it didn't turn over. Head. Yeah, that's a big deal. Because I hit a lot of toe balls. That's right, I don't know if it's turning over. See, I mean, there's some things here. There's a little more spin out of this because face and path stay together, so mm -hmm. you don't get that domey one. Does that shaft feel better, or worse, same? Feels good. I really liked the Fujikura though. Okay. I feel like I had higher club head speed. Yep, you did. You put a little more on it. Yeah, so sure. it was like closer to like 114, 113 sometimes. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back there for you. I'm gonna put mm. the Callaway on. So same waggle feel, do you like it again? Yeah, that feels really nice. That's left. Feels good though. So, I mean, something you liked about it, club speed bumped, ball speed bumped, but that don't matter when you're picking it out of the water right stuck like angle of attack path and face almost matched all the way through 8.7 yeah. 8.7 8.8 you definitely get more ball speed with this thing holy 315 it's not down the middle it's not down the middle and i think i can milk a little more out of the cobra let's milk oh. something let's milk it. <laughs> so i'm flipping the weights give you more forgiveness a little more spin okay let's see if it was a fluke or not probably was <laughs> nope that's a little starting left but just spins immediately just jumped right that was, yeah, what's yeah. that 700 rpms yeah. or something i guess for the people at home we went more weight here in the back which moves the center of gravity it's supposed to be more forgiving more spin yep that was hit hard okay let's flick the other way let's go weight in the toe yeah. I don't want to jinx it, but there has not been a left ball with the Cobra yet. You've hey. said it, you've said it now. That's like the, the commentator's <laughs> no, curse. I mean, <laughs> that left bunker's about to get peppered I, over there. I'm trying to test it out and see if it happens. That felt about as left as it could get. Still fairway. Still like that first weight position mm -hmm. by the looks of it. That's heel and left. All right. So let's can this this weight option and we'll just i like the original original weight same thing. i mean like there hasn't been three that beat those cool i mean that's so we found the one that's how we do what we do that is shocking but i'm happy with it dark speed ls mm -hmm. it's a nine degree head which is like the the written loft but we just cranked it all the way down to get that face angle open for you so what looks, does that go to seven and a half seven and a half seven yeah. and a half okay and then basically this is a fujikura Ventus TR Red mm -hmm. 6X. So this is their kind of newest version of the TR line. Your black 7X is their low, low, mm -hmm. 70 grams. This is their, what can, what's considered high, but for all the brands in the world, this is kind of like a mid-flight golf shaft. Mm -hmm. Still really, really stable, but okay. 60 grams. So we yeah. drop some weight. I like that. Dropped a quarter of an inch off. So you were at 45 and a quarter, 45. Mm -hmm. Didn't lose any clubhead speed, in mm -hmm. fact gained. Um, and you were actually using just our demo grip, but we, we're gonna put on okay. the grip that you're comfortable yeah, cool. with. We're all dialed in with the Cobra Dark Speed LS. This thing is nuts. The whole experience is nuts. It's down to a T, to the RPM. If you wanna come get fit, check out Cool Clubs for yourself. Link down below, 25% off if you book before Father's Day, or tell them the Buster Jack boys sent you. They got locations all over the country. It's a great Father's Day gift, so go check it out. Get dad dialed in, and uh, make sure you book down below with the link. What does this little machine do? So that's frequency analyzer. Hmm. It's basically, without having to put it through our S3 machine, it tells us how stiff this one's playing. Huh. So it gives us a good indication because you get 10 of these shafts, even if they're high quality shafts, you might have some variation okay. in flex. This tells me your one Spot is, on. is this. Hmm. All right, so here we go. What do we think? We think we're gonna go Cobra Cobra? You can do whatever you want. This is the most unbiased fitting we've ever had on the channel. All right, let's start out, a little gamer. Yeah, let's set. see what, what you're doing with this your own. This one's been good, too. 
How good is that? The tempo is wildly it's, different. It's unbelievably <laughs> different. <laughs> yeah. That is probably the only miss I have right now. You it's don't like have a little low. Don't get the other side of the course? Not really. If I'm trying to hit a cut, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's my miss, obviously, but not really. Do you ever try and chase it? Does it change when you chase it or no? Downwind, I might get a little something extra to lean back on it, but not really. I just like fairways. Well, it's consistent. Pretty much it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely left side of the fairways where I've been at mostly. So is, would you say that's fair in terms of like 30 yards, 25 yards left is maxed out at badness? Yeah. So same deal. Let's just grab you some different shafts. Okay. Completely different profile. Like we use kind of a strong profile for you. I'm mm -hmm. going to smooth it out. Flex is going to be different. Weight is another thing. We might be able to steal a 50 gram okay. stiffer, like an X50 rather than an S plus 60. Cool. It's amazing. Two players can be so oh, different wow. and 95% <laughs> of the time we're going to shoot within two shots of each other. Well, that's what's so cool about their software yeah completely different swing and then just spits out perfectly fit shafts for you if you love this sort of stuff like really dive deep into the numbers get get nerdy with it real nice. check out <laughs> cool clubs youtube channel they do a lot more stuff they go even even deeper than what we're going in right now so so go check it out if you're really into some some tweaking and club numbers and stuff. So I like to do this sometimes. Guys like you, you're like super consistent. So a lot of this is gonna come down to like, what do you wanna look at? Like okay. Make it, pick the most appealing one. All of these are gonna have a good chance of working. I really wanna try the smoke. I think we go Tylus, Cobra, and Callaway. This golf shaft's gonna feel very different. Okay. What do we got in it? Smooth, so 50 gram for a start. So it's way down in weight. Okay. But it's way stiffer. So you can like you offset weight with flex. Okay. And then it's just a different profile entirely. It's smooth, it's poppy, it's Vanquish. it might not work, but it's worth a run. A little too much spin on that thing. Sounds really good. There you go. I feel like I can swing harder at it. So you can, you can hit this one harder. So on that FM scale, yeah, actually ping stiffer than your one. But it's, it, and it's, it's lighter, but so it's I lighter. can swing how, a little faster. Yeah. How many grams lighter is that? About 14. Wow. I mean, that feels good. You picked up a little speed, you got a little ball speed, you got a little spin, you got a little launch, but we've also widened the graph a little. So, yeah. so I'm gonna do the opposite of what I did with Mason. I'm gonna flip the shaft for you first. Okay. And see if you like, like that 60 grams better in a minute. Mm. That was hammered. So we just went 10 grams lighter or 10 grams heavier? You mean? Yeah, I'll put you back into your original weight of your okay. your Fuji. This is a graphite design, but like again, completely different profile. Oh, that was a really that good one. That looked good. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah. Feels a little more solid. The face or the shaft, like how it moves, I what are you picking? the shaft. I feel like the other one felt a little bit too whippy. That's, that's the feedback, that's what we need. So have another go with this. That was a little bottom. I mean, that's a good miss. That is a good miss, right down the middle. That's nice. That's the start height that we want. That's the line that we want to start it on. Just turning on you. Yeah. So let's do one more shaft. I'm going to okay. beef you up in the golf shaft to that okay. last piece. So similar weight, stiffer. What's the weight of this one? Same 60? Yeah, it's in that 60 gram range. Yep. That one felt pretty nice. But see that RPM just come way down there? Yeah, it did. I can fix that. Okay. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> I think you can. Stiffer than the last one? It does one. feel a little stiffer. A I feel like that's why that one was there. Yeah. Let me back this version out. I'll grab you a slightly different version of this. Okay. Have you had to pick between those three right now, the orange one? The orange, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you remember, but like in high school and college, that was the most popular combo. Titleist head, a 910D2 or 3 with an orange 2 or AD in it. Here's a lot of those lightsaber orange. Yeah. So what, just a little less stiff? Yeah, different Same profile. Thing. So the first one is their low. So okay. I was just giving you that for a feel. Now this is their high, so this is much softer in the tip, okay. much kickier. Just for the people at home, the difference here with him, because he's so consistent, it's all dialing in the shaft mainly. With you, you you're pigeonholed into a style of shaft. Has to be very, very strong. Yeah. You get a chance to play some more feely product, yeah. or more lively mm. product. So like we got to kind of work out yeah. where that boundary is, where it's too much. But we're not like moving the head around to make it not go this way or that way. That's going to be step two. So we're okay. basically going to be like, right now we know that that profile is good. Right, now let's go head, 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 head. That's that really good, nice. dude. I, like, I really like that one. You like that, that one? Feels one really good. <laughs> Literally two yards apart. I think. 
this one feels the best so far. Even better than that orange thing. Yeah. It's a little push, but still good. But see the whole pattern has yeah. changed, you know, all down that right edge of the fairway. And mm. the real question is there is like, is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, I think that and the orange one is the best feeling one. I'll keep them both out, but let's, you know, you made some comment on this one, so let's keep this one rolling. Triple diamond. So this is still pretty low spin. We've always got the option to go backwards one if this comes out like under 2000, that's what we'll do. I want to see the 280 carry. 280 is when we know. All right, a little Callaway action. Oh. Oh! Mm. oh. Give us half a yard. <laughs> Give us half a yard. Yeah. Oh, that, one, that one felt really nice. All right, but let me back you out of it straight away. Look at those RPMs. Yeah. I just want to give you the standard version. They put some spin on that. It'll hang in the air a little yeah. longer. Yeah, and we're going to pick up some more. Yeah, told you. I knew it. I knew he was getting over 280. Jack dial me in, Jack dial Jack in. <laughs> so what, we got rid of the triple diamond? Got the triple diamond. Yep, yeah, now we're down to the, to the max. Standard model, yeah. That's all right. That wasn't a struck, right? No, it was a little high on the face. I was low on the face. Oh, yeah. I don't love the look of this one. Okay. And it just kind of feels, I wouldn't say clanky is the word, but it just doesn't feel solid as the other one. Let's not hit it anymore. Okay. I don't want to burn that energy yeah. out on stuff that ain't good. Now, now we're close. This is the triple diamond in a different loft setting, and then I'm just going to mess with the where the weights are oh, to try and pick some RPMs up. What was the first loft that we hit? Nine. Nine, Nine just what? straight ten in. Ten and a half? This is ten and a half. All I've done is basically give you that open face with half yeah. a degree more. No, I can definitely tell. Mm. That's the one. 14, Do 161, it. this is it. Come on, baby. Do it. Yes, there it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I called it. 280. <laughs> That's the one. Oh, my that goodness. That felt so good. Feels good off the face. 276, I mean... It's like I'll take it. What do you think? There's two other things I want to do with you. I know you're Let's probably getting like, near the end of swings. No, I'm ready. I want to I'm, stick the I'm Cobra dying. on there. Yes. And then I want to try to DI and whichever of those works best, okay. just to make sure that yeah. we've got it done. Is it sitting on the line? It's on the line. It is. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. You can tell so, me if you don't like the look of it. Cobra. Could be two Cobra guys. We're going to try it out. Dark speed, just the regular head. It does feel different. You're right. It doesn't feel like how you expected it. Feel. You expect it to be like a hard <laughs> hit. Doesn't look like you're gonna be two Cobra guys. That sounded good. I was hooked. All right, delete, it's gone. Okay, so now you got your smoke with your DI. See which shaft is better, I guess. That's it. It was a little high on the I'd face. say that launched a bit, but. Dude. Yeah, it was a little high on there the face. There you go. Dude. <laughs> it's like a little knuckle 281. There's another yeah. 280. That was a little push. 283, didn't even I get mean, that pumped about it. it. Hammered it. Well, I pushed it. I think it's this one. You an orange you guy? Look, you look more confident. I think it's this one. Are you an orange guy? Yeah, I think it's this one. You can't you can get it in black <laughs> if you want it. Uh, of black. course, yeah. absolutely. That'd be sick. No, go black pokes, out? dude. No, boomer sooner, baby. Weight's back, 10-5 head. Crank the face open a little bit to down in loft, so it's playing at 9-5. AI smoke, smoked it. So what have you got in the bag for your three wood right now? PXG Gen 6. You got it in the flat scene. Yeah, yeah. That would make just, sense. Just flat standard. So 15 degrees? Yep. I avoid hitting that club at all cost. Because it goes all over the map or you haven't got use for it? Well, kind of. It spins a lot, I feel like. So it floats. So I can hit a two iron further than that sometimes, depending on the wind. Playing quite a bit softer than what you've already got. So it's a Gen 6. Let's get you hitting some baseline stuff. And do you like always hit three wood off the off the deck, or like would you ever put it on the tee? Rarely. Like that's pretty good. Yeah, but you can hear it, right? You hear it hitting the deck a little early. It's, you're just bottoming it out. I mean, it's part of that inside under thing. <clears throat> there, it spins a bunch and goes left. That's interesting. Ooh, all right. Well, let's not burn you out hitting that. Let me dump these, and I'll uh, I'll be back. Taylor might have made. Some really, really good fairway was the last few years. Yeah. Starting there, weights all the way back for forgiveness. Like we can go all the way up to help a spin, and then I've done the 15 down to 13. And Perfect. Taylor made QI10. I think sounded way better. That was hit off the middle. Oh. Oh, that's pretty good there. This is nice. You got 148 smash out of a. Might be left. Fairway wood. Not that's too not bad. bad. That's pretty good. 
That felt really quick left. Do I want it to go that far? Well, that's the question that we basically get to, right? Is I can do a bunch of this stuff where we start dialing in land angle. Are you, that's why I said, do you hit it off the fairway or the tee? If we hit it off the tee, we kind of want a mini driver. If you're hitting off the fairway, we're looking to get long par fives into. So there's like different reasons. Yeah, I'm going for a par five. Cause like typically I won't put that in play off a tee because that go straight. Like there's no advantage to me hitting that. So I just hit the two iron. I would like one that carries 270. 265, 270, and stops at 280. Got it. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Build the perfect club Go. for the imperfect golfer. <laughs> oh. That thing sounded. Might go 300. Real good. 294, almost. Okay, well, let's do this then. Let's, uh, Dang, God, that's fun to see, though. That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let me go and get a different head. I'm going to mess uh, around with you. Trying to get basically a similar carry with not as much tumble, right? Yeah, we want, we want a little more down, like, yeah, less like deeper Yeah, like if I'm coming angle. into a green, we want it to stay. Yep. Uh, Micah plays a five wood as well. And I think it's for that reason, because a three wood just goes way too far. It's exactly the same as what yeah. you do. You know, add well, some speed to that. Exactly the same, too. <laughs> Not exactly the same. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's your number. That's, That's exactly this. what I asked you for. Yep. How do you feel about 141 in the air? Is that high? Because like, it's hard to tell inside. It is, but oh, you're hitting a four degrees up on it. I know. You know, we've got some handcuffs on us. It's yeah. never going to be down. So yeah, if I get you to a, a buck 20, you know, your land angle is going to shallow out, your carry is going to go mm -hmm. a little deeper. So yeah, it's like, yep, it is high, but that's what gets us the number. Yeah. Maybe a little turnover. I would say. That's I really, really good. like that one. This is the Ping LST. So same thing, fade yeah. bias, lower spin. Love the profile of a Ping. Shallow, right? Yeah. yeah. No. Nope. It looks like it left, right? I mean, the number's good, the flight's good, the spin's good. That was a, almost a pull. Yeah. 270, 280, okay. So we got a bunch of ways we can get this done for you now. Yeah. That's a very typical shot with a three wood. Okay. So we don't wind like out and I hold it off because I don't want it to go left. Well, let's can that one as well then. Yeah. So this is the same setup as the driver. This is the three. Okay. Neutral. Okay. Not opened it up. It's got low loft, lower loft anyway, 14 and a half. Yeah. Oh, shocker. Straight down the middle. <laughs> shocker. <laughs> you said 260, finish about 280? <laughs> yeah. All right, you got it. Again. First thing sounding good. Jeez. Cobra man. It's crazy, right? <laughs> That's, uh, what guy. is going on? And it's rare that we get someone just goes like a, a dead match from driver to fairway. Driver fairway, same shaft too. Same shaft, same headset up. Like. And it's perfect. That's the one. You gave that little, well, it just hung in the air a little more because you, yeah. you popped it right, but. I don't hate that though. Just get the left out of there. So we're going Cobra. Cobra. I'm going Cobra. cobra. I'm, I'm gonna you. tell you right now, this is, I like this one. Yeah, you got it. And I'm gonna get it a little shorter than even your own, I think. Yeah, 40, 42 and a half. Yeah. Which is not traditional. A three wood would be anywhere 43, maybe a little over that. Some people go hair under, but yours is at 42 and a quarter. Yeah. Driver, we knock down a quarter. This one, we're going to knock down a quarter. It's so. funny because I'm, I'm longer in my irons, but I want shorter in my driver just right. for dispersion purposes because it's already so long. And I think a shorter golf shaft helps you get your chest on it a little more, which gets that like. And I'm not standing up. The club yeah. gets in front of me. Yeah. Cobra, baby. What a shock. <laughs> now, I do love a three wood. I like to hit three wood. I hit it off the tee quite a bit. I mean, if it's tight, I mean, like a 240, 250, I'm pretty confident in it. This is interesting. You got really light swing weight, C C9, and your driver's at D4. So that's something that's like you shouldn't have that kind of going on in the bag. It just Weird. creates inconsistency. Dang, that's nice. Just give me a little bit like Mason had. Right, I want it to go 260, 280. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think you were pulling it off the tee more often to try and control the driver, or you're like, oh, this is a fair um, way I'm going for the par five? I would probably prefer it to be off the tee. So then we can go back to the driver and we say, all right, now your driver is at, let's call it 300 in your conditions mm -hmm. for, you know, Texas stuff. So if we said like that 270 number, more more wind or less wind do you think you're playing? We play quite a bit of wind in Texas. A little on the lower side, yeah. maybe landing a little shy of, you know, 250-ish, yeah. two, yeah. maybe a hair over 250 and then running. There. I can tell you right away though, this is, this is a good example. Like this club is not, bad for you. I just like a the three wood club. I don't know why. Yeah. 
I just hit them well. So you haven't got as much speed change as you'd like to see between driver and three wood as well. Like driver's 108, maybe 109 when mm -hmm. we got that shaft right. And this is 105, you might normally see a little more of a drop okay. down. So you're definitely juicing this. And let's kind of do this the same as Mason. Let's give you like a match up, driver and fairway, and see what we get. Let's just get a baseline of this, see if it does, uh, does the job, and then we okay. can mess around. It was a little bit low. It feels a little bit heavier. It is. It is. Yeah, you swung it a little slower because of that weight. Yeah. But you got everything you could out of it. Well, straight. I wonder if I can make this thing lighter. Yeah, I think it does feel a little bit too heavy. That was hammered. I was going to say, this is going to launch and spin in the right spot. I like the feel of it. The profile looks a lot better. It's like a little smaller and a little lower profile. Try that for a second. What'd you do? I just took the took the weight out. It's not ideal in terms of like CG, but in terms of swing weight, just tell me if it feels okay. right. Mm. The other one didn't feel like I'm gonna get worn out swinging it or anything. You're just hitting this thing in a bucket. Well, let's try a couple of other heads for a sec. You could be a straight match. Callaway guy. What are you doing, John Rom? You gonna come play? Just with me, not the Cobra guy. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go play with Ricky, which is my favorite golfer. <laughs> so, Ricky, dog, come on. Go Pokes. You heard him, Boomer Sooner. Come play with me. Let's do a Cobra versus Callaway. Me and Ricky versus John and Mad Jack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is a sister shaft, lighter. It's very similar, but just lighter. Let's see what you get. What do we got? QI. QI. The titanium version. A little tailor-made. Golly, dude. There that one is. felt nice. There you go, 149. You're really picking up swing weight as a yeah. feel. You didn't really mention it so much, right? Because mm. you, you're Cause beast, beast and you're smooth, you yeah. feel where it's going. So we can probably get your speed back to that that mm -hmm. mark by tidying up the swing weight. That one was hammered. Like you're over that 280 mark, yeah. taking 10 off based on where we are. It's 2,500, so that's yeah. like a little knuckly. But the great thing with this is you can do that screw in the bottom, yeah. pull that big slug, back a little bit just add a little more huge, spin yeah huge weight in the bottom grab it drag it back should spin a bit more and cool oh that one felt a lot better dude there you go 3300 that's, that's it that's the number that's the one you haven't missed it's a so middle good. on that one this thing is roasted so let me put a seven in there and see if you Ooh. I mean, this is going to be that a gut nice. feel. Like, numbers are clean in there, but do you like the 60 gram over the 70 gram? Well, that's money right there. Yeah. This one's going to get there. I think so. so. And that's what you'll see, right? Those 60 grams, you can get a little more out of it yeah. just because you can swing it a bit quicker. Do you want that, or do you like the feel of that weight and the I tempo? I don't know. I'm, I'm a little scared that the 60 will go too far. Mm -hmm. No, well, we saw 290 yeah. pop out. I don't want that. I think I like the, this number better. Yeah, I think it's this one. And you like that QI better? Yeah. TaylorMade and Callaway guy. So we're dialed up. I mean, literally unwrapping this yeah. sucker. This is mine right here. Went Callaway, went Cobra. Went Cobra. <laughs> Thank you so Cheers, much. Yeah, what no. an experience. Appreciate what it. a great Thanks, time. Jack dialed yep. in, busted Jack. That's right. Cool clubs dialed us in. This was by far the best fitting experience. Absolutely. Just, it's unbiased. Well, That's nice. the best part about it. Appreciate it. I look forward to seeing it on the course. That's when we get the yeah. results, when we see you boys hitting it down the middle. And yeah, absolutely. I mean, this, is, this thing's going to go to Australia, yeah, Europe, all over. All, South America, Antarctica. Antarctica. Yeah. Is there golf to, down there? Mm, we're going we're to make, gonna it. make it. <laughs> <laughs> but this is going to Antarctica, so uh, it'll be the first Cobra Dark Speed down there. I guarantee that. Shout out to Cool Clubs. Again, 25% off. Link down below or just tell them. We sent you before Father's Day. Yep. Get you a nice little gift for your dad. Or for That's yourself. Or for, or for yourself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not just for dads. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate you. We appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching, and uh, we hope you like the new stuff. We can't wait to get it outside and on the course. See you next time. Peace.